All right, we are breaking down the music video for I Can See You, Taylor Swift's new music video. Uh, the clues, the hints, the references, some are pretty obvious, I think. Some, even I'm not really sold on. I'm gonna tell you all of them and you can uh, decide for yourself. Let me know here in the comment section. Uh, first, these are photos taken of Taylor during the filming of the video in Liverpool, England. That's where it was filmed. They didn't know what she was filming at the time. If you notice, the frame is, is empty, it's black. They put something into that later, which you'll see. But they know she filmed something. So they found out with us when the video came out that, oh yeah, that's what she was doing here. This was filmed in early April. If you've been following the Eros tour, there was one weekend where they did not have shows. They had the weekend off for Easter. This was also around the time that her breakup with Joe Allen went public, so. What's Taylor gonna do? Not sit home and cry, not read the news stories, not stress. She's going to work and creating more art. That's what Taylor does. Uh, so she was in England doing this. We find Taylor at the beginning of the video locked inside a vault. Big metaphor there, right? For the vault tracks and her old albums. She's locked inside the vault along with that framed piece of art, which we will find out what it is a little later. It is our mission, should we choose to accept it, to rescue Taylor. And this time and date right here is our first big clue Sound familiar? July 9th, 1.58 a.m. Hmm. If you're a true Swifty, you would know that that is in the lyrics to Last Kiss, two separate lines, uh, lit through the darkness at 1.58, and that July 9th, the beat of your heart. So we have a double reference there to the lyrics of Last Kiss. Let's meet the team helping Taylor make her escape. Uh, this is Presley Cash. Well, she's the girl from the Mean video. Do you remember that? 13 years ago. Uh, 13 is, of course, Taylor's lucky number, and she will be joined by Joey King, who is another girl from that mean video. She was the girl sitting on the toilet eating her lunch, remember? They were both bullied. So we have the mean girls, so to speak, helping us break free, along with Taylor Lautner, one of Taylor's exes from that Speak Now era, who back to December is uh, supposedly written about. They will all be helping us break Speak Now free. All right, inside the van and throughout the video, we see a close-up of Taylor's mouth as she sings the song with the red lipstick. A lot of people are saying this reminds them of Look What You Made Me Do, Reputation. Uh, I think it's just a signature red lipstick, but this, though, is certainly a signature of the Speak Now era, that painted 13 on her hand. Some Swifty claims uh, they counted 1,468 tally marks, which would be the number of days between when Taylor's masters were sold to when Speak Now Taylor's version came out. It seems unlikely to me. It seems too difficult to be able to count them all and really get an accurate, accurate look. But nice try, whatever Swifty started that rumor. Look at Taylor's arm here though, this is for sure. This is a uh, lyric on her arm from Long Live. I had the time of my life fighting dragons with you. As Joey King attempts to enter the building, she gets sparked, uh, sparks fly. I think the actual reference is more likely the uh, vault track, Electric Touch from Speak Now Taylor's version, but either way, both work. Purple is the color of Speak Now, so it very much matches the Speak Now aesthetic. Just people are saying that this reminds them of an award show opening back in 2013, the iHeartRadio Awards. Taylor did this pre tape sequence opening it up. This was the uh, 1989 era. Shake It Off had just come out. The album wasn't out yet. And people are saying that that's a sign that 1989 is going to be the next record. Reputation uh, fans are saying that this reminds them of the vault door from Look what you made me do. I think both of those are a little weak. More inclined to go with the 1989 one, but you decide. Once inside, we discovered that the building that Taylor's being held in is actually a museum holding all of the artifacts from the Speak Now era. These are all classic looks from the Speak Now era. Um, I think it also symbolizes that uh, these looks have been taken from her and are being held on display like trophies. You can see Joey King sees her dress from the Mean video. Five security guards start coming. People say this is a clue that uh, the fifth album is next. 1989, Taylor's version. Joey King picks up a weapon, the banjo from Mean. That is her weapon of choice. Remember, she was in the Mean video. Taylor Lautner's first weapon here is the uh, silver briefcase, which harkens back to the Bad Blood video. This whole fight sequence does. Uh, so another clue that 1989 may be coming next. Behind Taylor Lautner there, you can see that blue dress, which was the dress Taylor performed back to December on the Speak Now tour. Back to December is the song written about Taylor Lautner. <laughs> and she did it at a white piano. If you close attention to detail, what Taylor certainly did when making this video. The fight sequence itself is taking people back to this moment from Taylor Lautner. Okay, do you remember, I didn't even know Taylor Lautner was behind Taylor and Kanye during this whole incident. He was, and then he hosted Saturday Night Live and poked fun at himself uh, for not doing anything. He does this whole fight sequence uh, to make up for it. This is what he would have done, and he acts it all out on Saturday Night Live. 
Here we have Taylor Lautner, who's going to set the explosives to break free the album. Three purple explosives to break free the third album. Speak now. All right, let's go. Time to make a run for it. You can see in uh, Taylor's hand, the art has been revealed, and it is the uh, Speak Now, Taylor's version album cover. It's uh, represented here in the video as fine art hanging on a wall in a museum. You can see the building explodes behind them. Everything is destroyed inside from the original Speak Now era. It's interesting that our girl in the van is the one who pushes the button. She's the one who blows it up. I think that's Taylor acknowledging that she is the one blowing up her old work. Everything from that original Speak Now era, she's leaving it all behind. It's, sh it's she who's blowing it up and it's represented as kind of stolen work and stolen material in this video. And we are taking with us Speak Now, Taylor's version. Uh, as we flee here, some people have said this reminds them of a getaway car. I think that's a stretch um, from reputation, but the sign, above the van. It's literally a sign that says 1989 is coming. Uh, <laughs> we'll zoom in. 1989 TV. What do road signs tell us? What's ahead? Uh, I think that's, it's very clear that 1989 is ahead. The stars of the video are reunited on the Eras tour in Kansas City to premiere the music video. I think this is a brilliant, brilliant way to bridge the old era with the new era, to have uh, people from that era, these two girls from the Mean Music video, and then Taylor Lautner, of course, her ex, who she's become good friends with, help bridge the two eras. Taylor said she came up with a concept about a year ago and that the three of them represent the fans and how Taylor has felt with the fans uh, helping her rescue her old work. So this is kind of a love letter to the fans, this video with all the clues and Easter eggs inside of it. I'm uh, curious to know what you think, especially about the clues that I kind of had question marks around. Um, if you've spotted any others though, please let me know. Leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.